satellite technology can bring is in building up industry using the knowledge that you can gain from uh, for instance earth observation satellites so what our proposal is is to uh, build up the capability of uh, value-added services for instance uh, location-based services mapping services all use earth observation data uh, if you have unique data sets you can build unique businesses and compete on the worth worldwide scale and uh, this clearly has a benefit for the economy. A rapid eye venture which we put together for one customer, which is a group of uh, five satellites. Uh, this provides commercial data services for farmers uh, who, who uh, get data about uh, the progress of their crops as they grow and uh, gain benefit from the services uh, by saving on irrigation and uh, fertilizers uh, over time as their crop grow and they make they pay a small fee but they make more money back from the uh, the size of their crops in the end uh, that results from the use of the data traditionally space is seen as something that is uh, expensive and uh, difficult to get involved in uh, what we are doing is to show that you can actually do worthwhile things with uh, relatively modest budgets uh, and still uh, do something that is uh, worthwhile on an international scale either in uh, science uh, in commercial business uh, or for public goods uh, some uh, applications for instance in earth observation uh, are in disaster monitoring and providing data to the international community for that as an example of being the first person to establish a network within Estonia be great. Being number two and number three is a bad thing. You know, my own specialty being the, the precision augmentation side, it has tremendous applications um, both for uh, Estonia to build a service for themselves in terms of some sort of um, precision network to reduce which will help you with um, mapping like land registration, uh, taxation issues, um, the intelligent highway where you really know the, the accurate position of all the vehicles and vessels in your country. Now, what makes this especially valuable for uh, Estonia, I believe, is your communication structure. You have gone straight to a huge GSM network without any development and no history of a, a, a detailed infrastructure. I think I'm correct in that. Uh, now, a, a good GSM and GPRS network is essential for all of these precise augmentation services that are coming through. You can run that, you can manage that, you can make it a, uh, what we call a fee-based service. You build it and then you, you make everybody pay to use it. which is already existing and used in your country. Uh, and by the way, it's not uh, the same in all the European countries. You do parking with a cell phone, you have an e-governance system, you're quite advanced in this IT technology. I think this is the main, uh, main asset uh, you have in Estonia, that uh, uh, you could think about applications now in the space domain and in these various fields of uh, navigation, uh, you know, imagery from space and communication and eventually your young uh, innovative people and small and medium-sized enterprises come up with totally new ideas which we uh, haven't thought about and this is I think what we are looking for really.